I am a fashion reseller on the eBay and Poshmark websites. Um, my shops will be listed down below as will my um, Instagram. If you like what I'm wearing, I wear it a lot on Instagram. So go see my fantastic outfits. I know I look wonderful. Thank you for, thank you for noticing. So I went shopping and I went and got some stuff for my shop. And now I'm going to show them to you and tell you why I got them. First we have this adorable graphic type tee, like granny style graphic tee. Um, these are doing pretty well because like animals and like granny, it's called like grand millennial style now. I just call it grandma style, but whatever. We gotta make some, we gotta make it new every time. I don't know. Anyway, so very cute. This is the least cute out of all of my graphic tees that I got, so be prepared. This is a super, super soft, um, like vintage polo type shirt, and it's got like a flight academy situation embroidered on the front. It's like super duper soft, single stitch, very, very vintage, and just gonna be comfy for somebody's life. Possibly the coolest graphic tee. It's got a cat on it. It's got an embroidered cat on it. And oh, like that's all I have to say about it. Like, do I have to explain? No. This is a very fancy vintage cardigan. Um, it's like lace and mesh and super just like lightweight and great for spring and summer. If you just want to like cover up but not be hot. Um, this is definitely going to sell very quickly because anything with lace right now is just out the window. Like it's just people are buying the crap out of some lace. Oh my God, this sweater is so cute. This is an 80s sweater and it has this adorable little bow detail on it. And it's one of those short sleeve sweaters. So again, great for the slightly warmer months and just like such a cool little detail. And like, I mean, look at that, that's so fancy. Another cool graphic tee. What do you, what do you say about this? You just, it's cool. And somebody's gonna want it. I mean, I want it, but like, I don't really do this Southwestern type boho stuff so much anymore. As you can tell, we've gone like full on kawaii fashion, like every day of the week, so even though I do love this one and would probably keep it if I weren't obsessed with kawaii fashion right now, I'm going to sell it because it's cool and it's embroidered. This is by a brand called Vintage Concept. It is not actually vintage, but it is called Vintage Concept. And it's one of those very cool like boho patchwork style type situations and I looked up comps while I was out before I bought it and vintage concepts seems to be pretty expensive so yeah love that and again it's like it's a long sleeve but it's like super lightweight so you know you get that coverage with not so much warmth This is a shirt dress. It's like a dad shirt dress by a brand called Toby. Um, where do they sell Toby at? I think like Nordstrom or something. Um, maybe it's, I think maybe it's like a boutique brand. But Toby gets a lot of attention on my shop. So whenever I find like a cool, unique, 
kind of item by them I definitely pick it up and this is like it's like a shirt dress with like purple stripes on it super cute more lace well this is like a crochet type situation so just like an oversized crochet top with like this lace detail down at the bottom really cool really simple oversized soft comfy great for summer this blouse is just so pretty it's I believe no it's not handmade but it's from like the 70s slash 80s in the 70s and 80s they had a lot of these it's called a pussy bow it's like or a secretary bow um you just tie these little extra bits at the front and you get like a cute little bow detail so and it's got these very slight let's see if you can see it hopefully you can it's like white floral on a pastel blue background so it's not super obvious this is definitely from the 70s and i would probably bet handmade maybe i don't know but it's got like this really cute little like tiny scallop collar detail and I mean, otherwise it's pretty plain, but it is, it's a good size. Um, it's one of the bigger sizes and vintage for larger sizes is definitely harder to find because when larger people find really cool stuff, they don't let it go until it's absolutely destroyed, which I understand. So, um, but this one's in great shape and it's got that cute little collar. This is just a yellow, like pastel yellow women's Ralph Lauren top, but it's made out of like that super soft cotton that they use. And I mean, it's pretty simple, but Ralph Lauren is really expensive. So, you know, like 20, 25 bucks for this. I think it'll go pretty quick because it's a great color for spring, of course. And pastels are surely having their moment right now. And I am all for it. This is another relatively simple but like cool cut type situation. So it's just all red, but it's got like this cute little collar on it. And it's got these big dolman sleeves and just very 80s great for like a casual oversized vibe maybe where I'm like I would wear this with like a uh, a pair of like high-waisted shorts and I think that that would be just perfect this little cardigan is by a brand called Twiggy I believe that this is a modern brand um, but I just loved that light pink color block with like the like even lighter pink like it looks cream to me on the camera but it's actually like a, an even lighter pink and then it's got like these teeny tiny little pockets very cute and like i said great for spring this i'm just i'm in pastel land right now i can't help myself this is a vintage Irish linen blouse. Um, Irish linen is a big fracking deal for some people. They just love them some Irish linen. So when I see Irish linen, I just automatically pick it up. I'm like, I know this is gonna sell. This is new with tags. The tag is like hidden inside. Um, Judith March. Judith March does pretty well for me too. It definitely gets a lot of attention and traffic coming to my shop. Um, and this is, it says tired as a mother. 
and I wish I had gotten it up before Mother's Day, but today is Mother's Day, so clearly I have failed. But it's cool, and I think that it's like, it's obviously very versatile because it's got this loose, loose knit, um, so again, you get that coverage with not so much hot. Okay, so this is a set, so you've got this like strapless, bustier button up bustier situation which is made out of that this really cool floral with like that golden background color so this is the top and then it comes with a faux wrap skirt which is basically it's like not a wrap skirt it just has like this cool little detail on it so Yes, very fancy, very cute, has a lot going on. <laughs> now I hear that sets are doing really well right now. That has not been my experience, but maybe I'm just picking up the wrong sets. So I've, I'm trying different sets now. And I'm sorry for the bird chirping. She's just, she's right there. She's burden it up. bird. This is Daisy. She's a good bird. But she's very chatty. Another really cool set in my opinion. This is, I believe, linen. Maybe it's cotton. It says that it's machine wash, tumble dry low, so it's probably cotton. Um, so you've got this little vest and this fabulous skirt that goes with it fabulous like this has got some twirl capabilities and that's all that matters when it comes to skirts except for pockets and it also has pockets what else do you want this is i think it's wool it's not, I don't think that it has a, like, a wool tag on it or, like, a uh, fabric content tag. Maybe I just haven't looked enough. But it's this long, dark gray button-up style dress with little pockets on the front. And this fabric is just, like, really, really soft and plush. And it's fully lined. And... It's, again, super versatile. You can wear it by itself in the fall or wear it over a turtleneck in the winter. Uh, yeah. This is a super cool skirt. It is plaid. I'm, I just, plaid skirts always get me. I can't help myself. And I really like the shape of this one. I feel like it kind of gives you that tennis skirt vibe. So it's like a flat front. And then it's pleated in the back, but it's got these cute, and it's got these cute little buckle details on it. Super kind of like grungy slash preppy. It depends on what you wear it with. You could make it preppy, make it grungy, make it punk. I don't know. It's red plaid. It's great for a lot of things. More red plaid because I am pathetic. This, again, is kind of close to that kind of silhouette. I really love these little, like, ruffles on the bottom. I thought that that was really cute. And this is by Ralph Lauren, so definitely feels like some Ralph Lauren. It's super just, like, soft and nice, you know. They make quality products. This I may be keeping for myself because honestly it's not in great condition, but like I just want to wear it as a kimono. It's one of those shorty robes and it still has like the little waist tie, but it's like, it's got this little tie, but it doesn't have the other tie that it ties to to keep it closed. So yeah, not in great shape, but like it's hot pink and it could be worn as a kimono, so I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> More plaid. This 
is a quilted vintage 1970s maxi skirt and the quilting is done with this like golden type thread and it's I mean it's it's cool um, I know that it's definitely not quilted maxi skirt season but when you see something like this you can't leave it behind and probably handmade yeah I bet handmade based on that stitching so the way that it's kind of whip stitched down you won't find that done unless it's hand stitched you can't do that with the machine more cool skirts so this one more plaid I'm sorry I'm sorry I can't when I see plaid I can't leave it it's plaid so this is very cottage core kind of like almost dark academia possibly I'll probably tag both of those styles as in this but just super cute it's got like these little raw edge details and it's just I'm in love with it I think it's just so cute and elastic waistband we love that another skirt I did well on skirts can you tell now this skirt appears to have, the lining has been removed. So I am going to trim that down so that you can't tell that the lining has been removed and just sell it and say that it's not lined. Um, but look at this pattern. Again, super cute pastel kind of colorway, but also has that like boho Southwestern type of feel so I feel like this one's gonna go pretty quick even though it does have the lining cut out like this fabric is just too cool and it's like super soft again unfortunately I don't believe that this one has does it have pockets oh it does have pockets yes we love a pocket This skirt is from Anthropology. It is by a brand called Gregory. And it's just like a super cool kind of patchwork type design. Um, with like these little, I don't even know what's going on here. Like it's just got some like what is that leopard print but it's green and purple and then like some hearts in here so again very funky boho type style I love it but I just don't wear it so I sell it and then two count them two home goods I managed to keep myself together this time because um, the place that I went to is like my favorite home goods place um, this is Fenton a Fenton like hobnail scallop thingy and it is hand painted and hand painted Fenton is very expensive and goes for a lot of money on the secondhand market so of course had to get this and I learned a new thing. I learned about a new person. So this is by Ann Geddes, G-E-D-D-E-S. And it's just, he's a cute little baby with like little oranges and stuff. And some of his leaves are a little chipped, so I probably won't get too terribly much out of him. But I know based on what I found in my search that people are charging like $200 for one of these new in box. So I bet you I could get 25 for this guy, especially because all of the, all of the problems are like small and they're on the back. Um, I think I could get a little bit out of him. So yeah, very cute. 
So thank you for coming and seeing all of the things that I bought. Thank you for watching all the way through and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, I don't post hella often because I don't have a lot of people that watch me, but if I felt like I had more pe people who were going to watch the videos, I'd probably post more if that makes sense. So if you like my videos, definitely let me know and I will post more often. So thank you again for coming and I will see you next time. Bye.